Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. In today's video, I'll be shooting a comfort vlog, and in the background, I'll be talking about what all you need to know about Iser is. So let's start from the very first, which is the full form of Iser. So Iser stands for Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. So ISA is a group of research institute in India which is based for promoting scientific research in basic sciences like physics, chemistry, maths, bio. It's similar to IITs where IIT stands for engineering but uh, uh, ISA stands for scientific research. So in whole of India there are seven ISAs so which are ISA Pune, ISA Kolkata, ISA Mohali, ISA Bhopal, ISA TVM, ISA Tirupati and ISA Bhairampur. Now let's talk about the courses offered in ISA. So all the ISAs basically offer BSMS course and MS course, a PhD and I PhD. But in some ISAs there can be variations like only in ISA Bhopal they offer BTEC courses and so there will be different course structure for each ISER even though the degrees are somewhat similar. Here I will be attaching a seat matrix where you can see all the seats and all the courses like BTEC and as for ISER Tirupati they offer BS in economic sciences and statistical sciences. So you can also check them and number of seats. This uh, picture is from the IIT website. So for entering into this BSMS course, you need to appear for an exam, which is called IAT, which stands for ISER Aptitude Test. And for MS, I, PhD and PhD, you have to approach each ISER individually according to your choice. So now let's talk about IAT. So the IAT's question paper, if I must say, it consists of 60 questions, which carries four, mar four marks each and minus one for negative answer. The question paper has four parts, each for bio, physics, maths, and chemistry. Each part, each part will carry 15 questions and all the questions are compulsory, meaning your score will be evaluated from a total of 240 marks. This is where it becomes different from J or NEET, where you can choose either bio or maths. But here in IIT, you have to do well in all the subjects, which means you can't leave either maths or bio. Like even if you're PCB or PCM, you can't just leave one subject because if you lose one subject, it's like losing around if I must say 45 marks for free, which maybe the other students might complete it. And according to your marks and All India rank, you can choose any ISA you want. The general preference according to ISA ranking is ISA Pune, ISA Kolkata, ISA Mohali, ISA Bhopal, ISA TVM, then ISA Tirupati and ISA Bhairampur. So, if you guys want to know more about IIT, its syllabus and all, it's actually we have mentioned in their website, which I will give the link in the description below. Otherwise, you can visit my friend's channel, which is Raz Iser TVM. So he uploads daily videos on IAT, its question pattern and how you can, you know, crack it and stuff. So if you guys uh, want to know more about it, then you can go in uh, this visit his channel. And for now, let's come to the most awaited part, which is the placement and job. So most of the Iser graduates go for phd where most of them go to foreign countries like america england australia germany new zealand etc as getting phd abroad through either is relatively easy than other university but uh, there is always option b where there are many students who choose not to do phd for which they go to placements like in private companies so example for like in ISA TVM, if you take BSMS data science, you get placement companies similar to engineering colleges. And like, for example, if you are a chemistry major like me, uh, after BSMS, you can work as a chemist in many industries all over the globe, like pharmaceutical, cosmetics, so many companies are there. So it's up to you if you want to go along academics which is do phd with phd you can uh, also do a lot of things like you can become scientists in organizations like nasa isro like wherever your field research field is you can go in that organization or maybe you can become a professor in any iits or iser or any university which you want 
or you can just go for placements so as for now i think the iit application just started uh, it started on 5th march and will close on april 15 so hurry up guys if you are if you are interested in isa please go and apply so if you guys have any further questions on how to appear for it uh, and stuff like that or if you have any questions regarding my channel or about my life uh, please put the questions in the comments and shortly uh, according to your responses i'll be making a question and answer video where i will answer all of your questions in detail and as for now we'll meet in the next video